Welcome to overview of Looking Glass 2.0, an open source tool for Selenium test automation that not only allows you to identify objects by various properties, but now also has a new code, record playback and development feature. So just as in the previous version of Looking Glass, make sure you have Java 1.7 installed, unzip into any Looking Glass directory you want, and double click on Start Looking Glass VBS file. Now let me show you our new feature called Code. You click on this tab, open any browser you want to, and now let's record the script that we want. I'm gonna go to Amazon.com, look for Star Trek, click on Go, click on Star Trek 2009, and I'm gonna stop the script. So it was able to capture all of my clicks and types here. In fact, let's do a playback of it to make sure it works, but let's do it against a different browser. Now, when I click on play, I'm able to see all of the things that are recorded being played back right in front of me right now. Excellent. Now, we can do a lot more than just this. We can actually modify this code to anything we want. Let me show you how. I'm now going to modify a code that instead of clicking on this object, I'm going to print out its text value. So let's see what happens. It finished successfully, and I see Star Trek 2009 exactly as I want it. You can insert any type of Java code you want, loops, whiles, etc. In fact, let me give you another example of how uh, this code feature can be very useful for you. I'm going to open my IDE where I have my test automation code and copy paste it right inside the looking glass. I'm going to remove the spaces to make it a little bit more readable. I also see that I have specified my own custom driver here. So for that purpose we have a driver variable name which we can specify right into this field. And now I'm going to open the browser and do a playback of the script I have. Goes to Amazon and it's sitting on this element right here. Hmm, it gave me an error that no such element was found for the button go and it highlighted the line too. So let's see what's going on here. I'm going to open the inspector and get the properties for this object. Copy it and paste it right here where it's failed. Ah, so it's actually input 1, not input 98. So let's do another playback of the script. Excellent! Found correct Star Trek movie for my if statement. The script is now valid and I can copy paste it back into my ID. So you see how powerful this code feature for Selenium automation development is. You can put your own code, you can quickly debug it, execute it, modify it, record it, identify the values, and it will be able to speed up your process by quite a lot. So please give it a shot and tell us what you think. Thank you.